I bow unto you all and I wish a beautiful, wonderful session today also. Chapter number 2 for the seventh time. Great 10 signs it is. Motion in a straight line as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. We already talk about displacement time graphs and today have a very big, big concentration to talk about velocity time graphs. We will learn about it. Shall we get into the subject? Velocity time graphs and with the velocity time graph, what kind of informations you can get? What kinds of equations we can apply? We will learn about it and how to find out the solution and answer right here you go. The first itself, it is clearly explaining you that we can find out acceleration from this plotted graph. Time is in the x-axis and the velocity in the y-axis. When it is zero, the time is zero, the velocity is zero. When the time is one second, the velocity is what? It is three seconds. You see this? They have plotted it. They have divided three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen in a very nice way. Okay. And then after that, they have divided 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in a nice way that you have to understand how to plot a graph in your graph sheet. After that, they put against to when it is 2, it is the velocity is 6. When it is 3, the velocity is 9. When it is 4, the velocity is 12. When it is 5, the velocity is 15. Here it is. And when it is 6, the velocity is 18. Here we go. Now, I erase all the things. The gradient, that is difference between the velocities divided by time, that will become acceleration. Here the acceleration, we can easily find out 18 minus 0 divided by this 6. That will give you acceleration from this velocity time graph. Let's see another one. Another important information you want to find out. In this figure, the area under the straight line, you see the velocity here. When it is 0 to 2 seconds, the velocity is 6. When it is 2 to 4, the velocity is 6. When it is 6 seconds, the velocity is 6. When it is 8 seconds, the velocity is 6. When the velocity is going like that, when the velocity is equal and constantly going like that, you can find out this areas multiplying by 6, multiplying by 6 into 8. So that's coming as 48 meter. You see this? That, you know what is that? This area is calculated by multiplying the length along the x-axis by the length along the y-axis. This is the displacement. This is what? The displacement. You can find out the displacement by calculating it. 6 multiplied by 8. When we apply that one in the equation also, it comes like this. Velocity is equals to displacement by time. So the displacement, when we apply, what is the velocity? It is a constant one, 6 second multiplied by 8, this one. That's coming as 48 meters. So we can also find out by easily plotting a graph by 6 multiplied by 8. Here, the 6 multiplied by 8, 48 also. We can find out. Now, on that scenario, we're going to find out when the graph is like this. Now, when we are applying this particular equation to find out the displacement, you always know that mean velocity the final velocity minus the initial velocity that is 12 minus 0 divided by 2 multiplied by 4 seconds is becoming 24 meter so can we find out from this area also that one yes you can find out how that we are going to find out 12 here it is 12 and here how many 4 
right? 12 multiplied by 4 divided by 2. That's the exact one. So 12 multiplied 4 is equal to 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. That is 24 meter. That is an easy way to find out the displacement from the graph. So why don't you do that? Okay, now another graph is there. So that is this they are telling that the displacement of a body moving at a uniform acceleration is equal to magnitude of the area under the velocity time graph. Here there is a dis deceleration action is happening. In this deceleration ex thing also, you're going to do the same thing. 8 multiplied by 4 divided by 2. 8 multiplied by 4 is always equals to 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16. See, when you are applying that, it is coming. Lovely. So, how easy it is to find out the displacement of the body when the velocity graph is plotted. Now, you have a question like this. You have a question like this in your book. Let's understand this question after putting the graph. So, are you ready to do that? We have seven numbers of questions that we are going to concentrate and we will do it one by one. All right, the object starting from a rest will plot the velocity time graph. Now, are you ready? Okay, so we are going to put the velocity and time graph velocity on the y-axis. Time is on the x-axis and we are going to do that one. Object starting from the rest acquires a velocity of 15 meters per second after moving to 6 seconds. Okay, we have divided exactly like this. Look at this. Object starting from the rest acquires a velocity of 15 meters per second after moving for 6 seconds. We did it. All right. Now, under a uniform, that is that line I'm putting as OA. Under a uniform acceleration, then the object moves with the, that velocity, the same 15 meters per second velocity. It is moving for another 6 seconds. That also we plotted. Here we go. And comes to the rest after decelerating for 3 seconds. Another 3 seconds, that means 12 to 15 seconds, it is coming to deceleration. That is the point where you have to learn B to C. O to A, it is a uniform acceleration. When it is uniform acceleration, you know that how the mean velocity is calculated. From A to B, it is moving in constant velocity. That is 15 meters per second. And finally, it is coming to the rest after moving to another 3 seconds. This is how the graph is plotted. You understood it also. Now, the second question is in fine. Find the acceleration during 6 seconds. Find the acceleration during the 6 seconds. They are asking you to find the acceleration during this particular 6 second. Here we go. Acceleration during the first 6 second is gradient of OA part of the graph. Gradient of the OA part of the graph. 15 meters per second. Here it is. Divided by 6. Divided by 6. 15 divided by 6. And you get 2.5 meters per squared. Per second squared. Now displacement during the first 6 second is definitely the region you want to find out. Area of the graph, right? This area you have to find out. That is displacement. Now, we already know that area 15 multiplied by 6. This 15 multiplied by 6 and divided by 2. 15 multiplied by 6 is 90 divided by 2. The displacement is definitely in meters. So, you got the answer as 45 meter. The next one is displacement at uniform speed. Voila. So, you're going to area of the graph below AB. You want to find out AB, this region. You're not going to divide that, divide this area into two, right? Because it's a box. That is 15 multiplied by 12. 
no multiplied by 6 that is right 6 to 9 it is 3 and 9 to 12 it is 3 so here 3 here 3 that is 6 15 multiplied by 6 second that's 90 meter so the first we found out a displacement second we found a displacement and what is the deceleration during the last three seconds now they are asking deceleration not the displacement okay to find out the deceleration yes the last value is zero and the final the initial is minus 15 divided by three seconds that is minus five meters per second here we go five meters per second deceleration deceleration is definitely in minus so we have to light right deceleration is five meters per second now the last one what is the displacement during the last three seconds you want to find out the area 15 and this region is definitely three so we'll put that one into action also as it is a definite uniformity is here you're mul dividing that one by two or you can simply write 15 multiplied by three divided by two also 45 divided by two the answer will become 22.5 meters now write down an expression in order to find the total displacement travel by the object during the complete motion using the velocity time graph that's called total displacement travel is area of the trapezoid all these areas you want to find out for that see simply we are going to apply this one total displacement oc yeah here it is o c a b mm -hmm, a b divided by two multiplied by 15 meters per second because from here to here it is 15 oc is 15 here and ab is 6 to 12 it is 6 to 12 is 6 to 12 it is 6 right and 15 meters per second definitely yes so total time is 15 total velocity i'm sorry is 15 meters per second now 21 divided by 2 multiplied by 15 meters per second and total displacement is 157.5 meter 157.5 meters so we found out how to find out the trapezoid region also or as you can individually find out also but the easiest way is finding out the region of trapezoid this oc that ab multiplied by this i mean divided by two then multiplied by this total 15 meters per second voila you got your answer very clearly i'm going to meet you in another session till then bye bye and take care of yourself